arrogance, and lack of modesty are often the main causes of problems in the relationship between husband and wife. There's probably no house in this world in which there is no quarrel or arrogance between husband and wife, but only if there is modesty in both of them, then that house will never break. If you also want to save your home and run your relationship beautifully in your home, then you have to develop modesty within yourself. It is often seen that women are short tamp, they get angry soon, and in this case, they forget right and wrong. And this is often found in men in homes. In most homes, men get angry very quickly and use their power in a negative way without even considering the feelings and emotions of the other person. Both of you, that is husband and wife, should keep one thing in mind that Satan, who is present in every relationship and his most important and favorite work is to separate two people, then he is present in your relationship. He creates quarrels between both of you in different ways and destroys the peace of both of your lives by putting different reasons, but you do not understand this thing in the state of anger. The best solution is that when a woman is angry, the man should be gentle and quiet. And if the man is angry, the woman should be quiet and calm. If both of them do not try to understand this, then it is obvious that the end of such houses is destruction, which their generations have to suffer throughout their lives. And the biggest loss of your anger and arrogance is to your children, which will break them for the rest of their lives. Whenever you are in a fight or conflict, try to understand each other instead of putting down or humiliating each other. Anger is a natural process that happens to every human being. Yes, some people are short tempered. But it is not necessary that you are also among those lucky ones that when you are in a state of anger and someone can consider you as the third servant of God, it often happens that in a state of anger, those around you people don't understand you and end up losing yourself. Whenever you are in a state of anger, remember that anger is from Satan, and his best and favorite thing is to separate two people, accept each other with their shortcomings. And excesses because no one is perfect in the world. Everyone has some shortcomings. Everyone has some vices. So don't go looking for the best. Therefore, save your relationships, understand each other, and develop tenderness within yourself. Don't forget, a resilient tree is always more fruitful. So be flexible.